Greetings friends and welcome to Eurogamer. My name's Ian Higton and behind me is the title screen for Front Mission First Remake, which is coming out on the Nintendo Switch today. Now, as you may have guessed by the title, Front Mission First Remake is a remake of Front Mission First, which originally came out on the PlayStation 1 in 2008. But that game itself was a remake of Front Mission, which came out on the Super Nintendo in 1995. Now, neither of those versions of Front Mission have ever been released in the West, but back in 2007, a Nintendo DS port of Front Mission First, the PlayStation 1, was released in North America. So that means Front Mission First Remake here may be the very first time that many of you will have had a chance to play a Front Mission game, myself included. And that's why the wonderful people over at Forever Entertainment have sponsored this video and challenged me, a turn-based RPG and Front Mission game noob, to try this game out for the very first time to see what I think of it. Now, I'm not going to lie, I think I might love this game already because it looks like down here we've got a sound test menu like you used to have back in the day on all the old Super Nintendo games I used to play. And yeah, here we go. We've got a choice between listening to tracks from the remastered Front Mission 1 soundtrack and the original Front Mission 1 soundtrack. Karen? Does this song want to speak to your manager? Moody. Let's check out the difference between the original and the remastered. More orchestra. Nice. Now, I'm just about to start my new playthrough, but before I do that, I'd just like to point out that I've got the option here to choose between modern or classic graphical stylings. I'm presuming the classic is exactly like it would have been if you'd have ever played this on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. You get the classic soundtrack, the ortholog... Ortho orthogonal? You get an orthogonal view of the camera, and you get the experience from the original first mission game. Or the modern view, which I'm going to be playing on, gives you the remastered soundtrack, perspective view of camera, freedom of camera movement, and fixes and improvements. Let's do it. So, that word there, you may be mistaken in thinking that says Wanza, which is a little bit of a comical name, not going to lie. If you come from England, Wanza sounds very funny indeed, but it's actually pronounced Wanza. Like a Panzer, like a German kind of tank division, but it's a Vanzer. So this is a Vanzer instructor. Welcome to Huffman Island, Lieutenant. Oh, and if I haven't told you already, Front Mission is a turn-based RPG kind of strategy game. I'm Sergeant Glenn Duval. That's a strong name. Your personal Vanzer trainer for today, sir. Oh, I'm glad he's called me sir. Very kind. Just call me Royd. You're older than me. And you've been in the service for longer than I have. Okay, so my playing is Royd. All right, Lieutenant. I mean Royd. I don't usually take part in training exercises like these, but the brass thinks you show great promise as a Vanser pilot. So they asked me to train you. Thanks. Still, I wonder. I've never seen a Lieutenant as young as you. How did you do it? I cheated my just luck, I guess. Yes, that's a better excuse, yeah. I made it out alive from all the hot zones they kept sending me into. And now you're on Hoffman, another potential hot zone. Personally, I'd say you have rotten luck. Depends on how you look at it, Sergeant. Now, are you going to show me what this walk-in coffin can do? Okay, let's start with the basics. I don't doubt you have great survival skills on a battlefield, but applying them to a Vanza will require a lot of practice. No doubt. First, let's try moving your Vanza. There we go. So I can either choose to go over the grass or over the desert. I think I've got to go the desert, you know. There we go. End. And of course, because this is turn-based, the enemy also gets a go after me, but because there's no enemy, it skips straight back to me. So let's get in this green square as quick as I can. Good, moving your Vanza shouldn't be a problem. Now let's cover basic <laughs> Vanza combat. 
Wanzers can be equipped with a weapon in each hand, and you can also mount weapons and shields on each shoulder. However, you can only use one of these weapons when you attack. There are also three attack types, melee, short range, and long range. Let's have you actually attack something before explaining any further. Oh, look at that speedy Wanzer. That's your target. The option to attack will appear when a target is within range of one of your weapons. All targets in range will be designated by a red square. Select the square to target an enemy. Then choose the weapon you want to use. When you are satisfied with your selection, select OK. Now try attacking the target with the weapons at your disposal. Sure will. Well, first up, let's get a bit closer. I can see the enemy vans are there. Maybe I don't want to, you know, jump straight into the open. Might take a little bit of cover over here. and see if it inv advances on its go. Yeah, here we go, look. Oh, it's come. Oh, cheeky. Well, I can either guard or punch or use a machine gun called a Pat 55. I'm going to punch it in the face. Ooh. Shot me. Take that. Melee attacks are mainly used to focus damage on one location. If you have the proficiency level, you can even attack before they do. Ooh. Now try attacking the target with a different weapon. Okay, let's move to this side of it. And attack. We're going to attack the enemy panzer. Panzer. And we're going to use the machine gun this time. Nice. Short range attacks are the bread and butter of Vanza combat, it says. Oh, I'm going to try and guard this time. Try and stop taking some damage when this thing attacks me. There we go. That seemed to work. See if I can finish this thing off. Attack! Maybe I should have tried to attack it from behind, actually. That would have probably been cleverer. I'm gonna punch it again. Ow! Shot me first, how dare you? <gasps> Miss! It's tense already. Okay. I'm gonna go for a punch again. I'm all about punching them Vanzas. Okay, time to move behind and unleash my machine gun. Oh, it turned and faced me. Clever. Oh! Nice. You toast, buddy. You toast. Wait, I've got to face Glenn now, but not Glenn. Oh, there are repair items in my Vanza's backpack. Nice. I'm going to try and use an item and repair uh, my what's most damaged. So that's cool that you can repair different parts of your armor. I think I'm going to go for my legs, get a full-on leg replacement. Oh, it's not going to be quick enough. Oh, yeah. It was quick enough to avoid an attack from Glenn. And if I click on Glenn here, I can see Glenn's movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and move out of reach of Glenn. Maybe to up here? This could be a bad idea. And then I'm going to use an item, and I'm going to use another repair. And I'm going to repair my left arm. So now I'm kind of back up to combat readiness, but is Glenn going to launch an attack now? I think he is. I'm going to guard. He's got two guns! He missed me, though. All right, Billy, two guns. Let's see how you deal with one gun. I took a little bit of damage off his right arm, but he took a lot of damage off my body, I think. Uh, that wasn't great. Probably get better guard again. Good guarding. Uh, 
Let's just straight up attack. Let's go straight in with more machine gun fire. Oh, took a bit off his legs there. His right arm's nearly screwed. My body's hammered, though. Let's guard again. I don't fancy my chances if my body gets destroyed, so maybe I should use an item on my body. Is that going to end my go? That did end my go. Let's guard again. I'm playing it safe. Lovely, lovely. All right, seems to have more health now than Glenn. Let's mess him up. With some more machine gun fire to the... Arm, yes. Now you're Billy One Gun, Glenn. How's that feel? Ha. I'm all about the defense here. Best defense is defense. Wait, that's not how the saying goes. Glenn, my friend, prepare to be papped. Oh, look how low Glenn's. Oh, he took a pot shot at me, but Glenn is super low on health now. You want to learn from me, mate? Do some guarding. Oh, yeah. I think this might be the end for Glenn. One shall stand. One shall fall. Yeah, and it wasn't me that fell. It was Glenn. Sucks to be you, Glenn. Sucks to be you. Oh, delicious XP. They weren't kidding when they said you had talent. No wonder you made lieutenant so fast. Oh, Glenn, you're such a flatterer. Thanks. But I could tell you were holding back, Sergeant. Why? I'm sorry, I didn't do it on purpose. You see, I have a childhood friend who's now in the UCS Army, and he's about your age. A friend in the UCS? Yeah, we were both born and raised on Huffman before all this hate before the OCU and UCS flared up. Those were good days. You felt like you were aiming a weapon at a friend. So you held back? I guess so. I really hope there isn't another war on this island, Royd. I've got some bad news for you, Glenn. I think unless there is a war, there's not going to be much to this game. Well, before I forget, I have orders from command for you. You're being promoted to the rank of captain already. Nice. I'm great at this game. So we've learned the basics. Now I can choose what side to be on. Do I want to be on the OCU side or the UCS side? Well, I think I'll stick with the OCU side uh, at the moment and to see the to see the action through the eyes of Captain Royd Clive, seeing as I kind of know him pretty well right now, and also because it's 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 recommended for first time play. That's me. Here we go. Mission details. This is it's 2100 now. Board a light submarine in the Huffman Island city of Manassa, Oceana. In light of recent tensions between two nations, you are prohibited from engaging in any hostile actions towards the UCS in units you may encounter. So basically, they don't want me to start a war. They've <laughs> they know I've got previous in that respect. Hey, Karen. This is Rabbit1. I've reached the recon point. How does it look? It's quiet. Too quiet, maybe. I don't see anyone. Be careful, Karen. Don't worry, Royd. I'll be fine. Never worry for a Karen. Always worry about a Karen. Lieutenant Muir is a capable soldier, Captain. I know you two are engaged. You should not worry yourself so. Oh, romance. Already? Yes, I know, thanks. Now clear cons. Apologies, Captain, but I have to wonder. Why go to all this trouble violating the treaty, even to recon this rundown factory? All I can say is, this is part of someone's agenda and I don't like it. Hmm, conspiracies afoot, I see. And romance. There's everything in this game. This factory. What's wrong, Karen? I can't believe they'd... This isn't... This isn't right! Karen, report! Whoa! Enemy Vanzas! Vanzas! Enemy Vanzas! That's what I said! But how? 
Why didn't we pick them up earlier? We have to get Karen out of there. We're going in. Well, that's a lot of Vanzas. You're right on time. Now let us see how well they've trained you. Oh my god, this is going to take a long time to get there. Hurry up, everyone. Okay, so I have control over my entire unit, not just over Royd. Don't have control over Karen, though. Which is not good, because Karen's surrounded. Oh, do I get to... Oh, my God. Driscoll. You evil fiend. Well done. A new pilot's first reaction to incoming fire is to cover their eye camera, not the torso where the cockpit is. Oh, alas, that valiant effort will be in vain. Oh, no. Karen's Vanza has been disabled. She is fully being surrounded right now. Karen, hang on! Right, no, stay back! Nice little dash there. Come on, crew. We've got some wrecking to do. Good for Karen. <laughs> nope. Oh, oh dear. Ah, ah. Karen, no. Whoa. That was. I didn't expect Karen to explode. Then I'm not going to lie. Oh, heartbreaking. I guess we're gonna be full of revenge rage now. Time to mess up some fools. So, did I start this war or did they start this war? I'm not 100% sure. But it's definitely going to be war now. Now, can I attack from a distance with my gun? It looks like I can. I only seem to be able to attack this one unit, though. No comment. You'll pay for this! Whoa! <gasps> miss? No, I didn't miss. I missed maybe with one of them. Took its arm out. Okay. Next up, let's go straight in here. And go for a close range attack on you with a zenith punch. Sounds cool. Ow. Miss! Oh no. Oh, this. Oh. I can't believe I may have lost this war before it's already begun. Okay, let's try attacking with a. Pat 55. Oh, wow, that didn't do too much damage at all. Well, actually, my OCU soldiers seem to be pretty strong against these weak little units. I'm going to guard. Because I've learnt guarding is good in this game. Whoa. Wow. Good guarding against a missile there. Wait, is everyone just ganging up on Royd? Hey, this isn't cool. Nice, you missed me. All right, Royd. Well, it's not Royd to go yet, but it's time for some payback, I reckon. All right, let's head around here. Let's get my attack on. And another Pap 55. Oh, that one is so nearly dead. One hit point left. Come on. Let's see if I can 
finish this guy off. I can't finish the guy with one health off. So this is my Ibis. Oh, I shot him in the legs. Oh, you're not going to be able to move very well now, are you, buddy? Okay. Time to finish off Billy One Health Point. See you later, sir. Kaboom! What do you get for messing with the OCU? God. Skills. We are outnumbered. Ha ha. Now, just in case you're wondering, because I haven't shown it off yet, you can rotate the camera in the modern mode. So you can get a little bit of a better look at the battlefield. If you so wish. Brat, brat, with my pap. Oh, went for a punch. Cheeky. Let's attack this dude anyway with the Ibis. Oh, a shot. Now the arm is crippled on this attacker as well. Wow, a missile launcher. Let's do that. It's guarding. But that still seemed to pack a punch. Guarding again, Ryuji. I think Ryuji's taking some pretty hardcore damage here. He is. I think I'm going to have to do some healing. Let's get Royd to attack first, though. Oh, that is... Oh, so nearly dead on the missile. Okay, Ryuji, we are going to use an item and repair your body. There we go. And the OCU soldier now. Let's move the OCU soldier into combat range with this one. And also use the pad. Nice. It's another missile down. When is that guy going to jump into action? My attack has full body armor. And who's this? This is a this is a fresh missile that missed me with its punch. Lol. Player phase. Okay, we're going to go straight in with an attack on this missile. Lovely stuff. Ouch. Hmm. So this attacker that Ryuji is facing off against, his arm and his left arm and legs are crippled, but his body's full. Let's see if the Ibis can disable another one of its way. Oh, no! The whole body's gone! Boom! That healing was uh, a good tactic, I think, because that allowed me to survive for long enough to vanquish that foe. Right, let's move right up to this missile and attack it with a pap. Go, random OCU soldier. Nice work. Promotion for you, my friend. Promotion for you. Okay, Driscoll, this should be enough. Now to cleanse the place with righteous fire. That doesn't sound good. What? Yeah, exactly. What? Captain, stand back. What's happening? Oh, no. He's vaporized the factory. Oh, no. It's caused a, an incident. Oh dear. Oh, long story short, I think I I think I have started. Yep, I've started a new war, the Second Huffman Conflict. Oh, it's like the fifth war I've started now. I 
year after the Larkus incident, in the Barrenden district of Huffman Island, OCU territory. Arena manager, you're up next. Get in your Vanza. Hold on a minute. Did I start a war, go on a run, and now I've become a mech gladiator? That's cool. That is... That's some badass Mad Max action there. I hear you. I did become a mech gladiator. Nice. Man in shades. Amazing. Royd Clive, we need to talk. Didn't you see the sign on the door? Authorized personnel only. Get the hell out. Dude, this guy's wearing sunglasses indoors. He's cool. Let him in. Hold on. Who I see? Royd, Royd recognizes cool. Come on, it's your turn on the arena floor, Royd. Hurry up and get down there. Go on, I'll speak with you later. And now the night's main event. Hot on a 12-match winning streak. Royd, Hellspawn, Clive versus Jack. <laughs> wow. Jack needs to, I don't know, be a little bit more creative with his neck. I'm Royd, Hellspawn, Clive. Jack. Oh, Crimson Sutherland. <laughs> Still not as good as Hellspawn. Okay, well, look at here. Uh, Royd versus Sutherland, and we are straight in. I could do a tendus punch. I, don't know, I think that's a bit underhand, punching someone straight in the tendus. I don't know what a Piz 3 is. Raptor looks like a gut. Maybe the Piz 3s are hard to tell. Let's go for a Raptor first. Yeah, that did quite a bit of damage. He's going for a punch. Punch me in the arm! Alright, let's try the Piz 3. Ow, he punched me in the tendus! <gasps> okay, the, I missed with the Piz. Man, he punched me so hard. I can't heal at all. I'm going to go for the Raptor again. Oh, man, Sutherland is kicking my ass. Oh, no, he missed. Okay, sweet. Oh, that was a... Whoa! Okay, I'm going to try a Piz 3 again. <gasps> no! Oh, man, listen to how disappointed everyone is. Oh, they don't know I just threw it. Looks like you've lost your edge. No matter, we'll get you back in shape. My name is Olsen. I'm the commander of the Canyon Crows Mercenary Group. Affiliated with the OCU Army. Oh. They're using mercs now. That's right. Just between you and me, the OCU is losing. Bad. The Army refuses to admit that it couldn't slug its way out of a wet paper bag. We need mercenaries. Real soldiers. Like you, Royd. So you've come to recruit me? You're fast in the draw. Yes, I want you to work for me. I want you to lead the crows. Ooh, leading. Yeah, I like the idea of that. I'm not going back to the army. Nuh-uh. Not even to avenge Karen's death. You get your... You get her name out of your filthy mouth. What would you know about that? Everything. The man in my position has to do his homework. You were in Larkus at the time of the infamous incident where Karen was KIA by UCS forces. You are unceremoniously discharged. Your records and your very existence are deleted from the OCU databanks. And you've spent the last year drifting from one town to the next, earning your pay as an arena prize fighter in dumps like this. Ellipses. Come with me and you'll get the chance to find the man who killed Karen. That's the least you can do for her, don't you think? Where do I sign? Good. Welcome to the Crows. There's a transport plane waiting for you at the airport that will take you to your first assignment. Visit my office in the military ward when you're ready. And take this. One thousand Huffman dollars should cover any Vanza upgrades you might need. Sweet. I'm going to upgrade my Vanza. Whoa. That Vanza dealer is pretty shady looking. Well, I can, I can change its paint job. How much, is, how much is a paint job going to cost? We've got a 
Can we get a Euro game of blue? There we go. Okay, that was free. Nice. Weapons. Currently equipped the... Oh, nothing's equipped in the right hand, so let's buy a weapon for the right hand. How much are these? 180? Oh, I can afford some pretty decent upgrades. Let's go for a... Let's go for a siege. Left shoulder. Nothing is anything equipped. So the PIS-3 is equipped on the right shoulder. Nothing is equipped on the left shoulder. Oh, nothing to buy for the left shoulder. About parts. Body. Can I get a better body? My, I'm currently equipped with a Tendus. Oh. But I could get a Pabot. Paboti? A Zenith or a Zora. Well, which one has the most power? It's definitely going to have to be the Zora. The Zora looks coolest as well. CPU? I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Zora seems to have some cool stats. Oh. Go for the zero. I'm just buying stuff now. I don't really know what it does. Oh, let's get some legs on the go. Look at this. Hey, these look pretty fancy. There we go. 60 left. Okay, listen. Before I go and do any kind of fighting, let's go to the bar and have a quick drink. I got 60 Huffman dollars or whatever they're called left to spend in the Wildcat. Who are we talking to? Hash the Liar. Massa the moustached. <laughs> Beretta the mumbler. Not sure I want to talk to someone who's going to mumble at me. Let's talk to Hash the liar. See how many how many times he can lie to me. Hey, I'm one of the factory grease monkeys. You've got a question about machines? I'm the one to ask. Are you, though? If you're a liar, are you? Hmm. A Vanza pilot, are you? Let me give you a few pointers on Vanza setups. It's all well and good to couple, couple together a Vanza with all the parts you want. But you'll get better mess mileage by specializing. Focus on HP and defense stats to make your ride take more hits. Or focus on hit and movement ratings if you want fancy hit and run tactics. Whatever you do, always think about your ride's body stats. If that section gets destroyed, it's all over. Okay, so we're getting some we're getting some tips from the bar. This is pretty good. Not as much booze as I was hoping, but perhaps some of these tips will help. I beat him up pretty good in the arena. Now he doesn't even want the cash for repairs. Heh. You better be careful out there, man. Real war's nothing like the arena. Just make sure to repair your ride's body and stay in a fight. I'll finish that bastard off next time. Okay. That wasn't... He didn't mumble at all. It's quite coherent, in fact. All right, let's head to the military ward and out into the action. Are you all set to go? Sure am, Olsen. Good, let's board the transport. I hope you don't get airsick. I don't, but I'm not a big fan of flying, to be fair. What? How's that robot going to get on that plane? Hey, it's Ryuji! He survived! Nice! Ryuji? What are you doing here? I decided to stay on Huffman after my discharge. I couldn't go back to Japan after what had happened. Captain Olsen found me and recruited me. I had no reason to say no, so here I am. Hello, Natalie. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Captain Clive, I'm glad you decided to join us. I'm Natalie Blakewood. I've been ordered to serve as your second in command. Welcome to the Canyon Crows. Are we all done with the introductions? Yes, sir, except for the crows who aren't present, of course. They'll get their chance. Let's go. I mean, Natalie's stating the obvious there. Ryuji's in my squad. Nice. Now I can trust Ryuji. Not too sure about Natalie yet. Hopefully she can prove herself on the field. Whoop, here we go. Oh, okay, that was a nice short flight. Just what I like. That is some lovely water. Whoa, is that... Is that Guile from Street Fighter 2? I hope he doesn't sonic boom me. Contacts at 1 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Screw that with Surrounded JJ. What are we going to do now? This is all your fault. I told you we shouldn't have gone out this far. Hey, it's a parrot. Ah. What? You're the one who said you wanted to find some easy kills for extra cash. We'll split it 
50% is zero of zero is zero, man. Cut me some slack. My folks need the money. What for? Your funeral? Okay, are we surrounding these dudes? I think parachuting in. We Howdy. Aha, hooray for reinforcements. I told you we didn't have to worry. Oh! Oh, oh, is this more of the crows? Oh. What's going on here? Keith, is this your idea of a covert reconnaissance? Walking up to the enemy to shake their hands? Okay, seems like the crows uh, are maybe formed by a bunch of mavericks here. What can I say? They all looked a bit lonely, so we thought we'd play with them a bit. Okay. Is that supposed to be funny? Cut it out, you two. Now's not the time for this. Captain, we await your orders. There's only five of them. What are you waiting for? Advance! Okay, so it's the player phase. There's a lovely parrot flying around. Let's just take a look at the uh, the battlefield. Oh, I could go right above. Some top-down strategy action. Do you like that water? Okay, so we've got Royd first. Who are my enemies? Is it these? Okay, there's the missilers up here. The attacker. I saw some... Is this an enemy down here as well? Yeah, we got one coming up from behind. And then these three here. So I'm going to move... I'm going to move Royd up to here. See if I can... Oh, it doesn't look like I'm in range to attack any of them. So I'm going to end. I'm going to send Ryuji down here to deal with this one. There's some nice little jumps down the hill there. Can I not attack? Can't punch down. No punching down <laughs> for Ryuji. He's bigger than that. Oh, I've got... Okay. I can control these ones as well. Ah, okay. I can attack one of these enemy mechs. I'm going to use my Piz 3. Boom! Oh, a direct hit on the arm. Who's this one? JJ. Okay, JJ. Let's attack. Same one. Ziga. Shot his arm off. Nice. Pretty defenseless now, except for a punch, I guess. Okay, here's the enemy phase. Oh, I did, ooh, ooh. I did not recon very well. There's a bunch of them behind us as well. Okay, I better guard... It took a little bit off me, but the guard hopefully blocked a lot of the damage. I'm going to guard again. Everyone's ganging up on JJ here. Poor old JJ. I did put him in the thick of it, to be fair. What are you going to do? Let's guard. Nice. I'm playing very defensive. All right. Now it's time for Royd to shine. Well, I've got two miniguns, a Raptor, or a machine gun even, a Raptor or a Siege. What looks like it'll do the most damage? Honestly, it looks like the Siege might do the most damage. So let's light this thing up. Oh, I missed quite a few shots there. Not as many as the attacker did, though, which is good. Ryuji. Actually, let's move down to the same level. Might give me more attack options. I'm not really sure. Ziga. Just a one shot gun, the Ziga, is it? He's really taking out that arm, but I feel like maybe I could do with doing a bit more damage than just one shot. Can I move to the same spot as my pals? It looks like I can. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh. Hold on a minute. Did I just control JJ then? I think I might have done. Wait, hold on. 
So yeah, I can't move to the same spot as my pals. I must have just made JJ attack then. Well, I'm going to move down here and protect our rear. And the Piz 3 again. Hit the body. Yes! And 32 experience points. Lovely. We got some. We got an item salvaged. That's pretty sweet. So we can take guns and stuff off fallen enemies. Enemy, and enemy, wans is now trying to cause some damage. Ha ha! Natalie's the best at dodging. Uh oh, Roy. Ooh, good block. Roid is very good at dodging damage. Ryuji not so much. Okay, it's time to lay the smack down. Let's attack with my siege again. Nice. Turn fire. Ooh, but the damage. Attack. I try the Zenith Punch. See how much damage that does. Oh! It's right in the leg. And. Siege! is surrounded by two enemies up there. How many have we got? We've still got like two down here. This one's got full health. But I feel like maybe ganging up on the one that's already weak will help more. So let's attack. I'm going to use a, I'm gonna use a raptor. Nice. Good work, Keith. These mech pilots have some strong names. Oh man, that Ziga did a ton of damage on that missile his body. These two waiting for. You know what? I'm going to return fire this time. Screw playing defensively. Blow that thing up. There we go. Nice. Oh, it folded in on itself. Good work. Do I get any loot? No loot from that one. Let's just go. Let's just go aggressive. It's time. I'm fed up with playing, playing safe. Oh, another wonderful body blow there. Natalie's already on guard. Missed with that grenade launcher anyway. Lol. And attack with the siege. Go, Roy. Finish him off. Nice. Looks like we may have the upper hand now. Especially once... Ryuji destroys this chump. <gasps> he missed! Ryuji! You let us down in our moment of need. Fine. Come on, Natalie, you can do it. Let's move up 
pilots back towards the action. All right, these two have decided to wake up a bit. Oh. And everyone is throwing everything they've got at Natalie at the moment. It's guard, Natalie, guard. Come on, don't miss this time. Wait. Yeah, don't miss. You missed again, Ryuji! Do we need to get you glasses, buddy? Natalie manages to escape that with no damage. It's my turn. Unfortunately, still a little bit too far away for Royd to help. I'm just can you miss with a punch? Let's find out. Oh, don't miss. Oh, <gasps> Ryuji is gonna get killed at this rate. Come on, Natalie, you can do it. Finish him off. Okay, well, you tried. Here we go. Look. Some backup coming now to even out the numbers a bit. Raptor. Did a, did a decent ish amount of damage. And nowhere I can attack from there, so that's the enemy phase. Oof. Wait, what? Why are they... Why are they fighting? Come on, don't mess this up, Ryuji. Ryuji. How'd you get... How's he getting XP? And chirpy music when he's missed, like, the last three attacks. Turn fire! Oh, nice. Not so nice, because it's not dead yet. Okay, wait. I, who is this? Are they on my team? This this one. Commander. Oh, he is on my team. I don't get to control him, though. Okay, fine. So is he bad? Is he on my team? I don't know. Get confused. Just I mean, in a... Frenzy, a battle frenzy. I can't tell what's going on. Who's friend or who's foe? Blue on blue stuff going down here. Time for some Piz 3. Oh, yeah. That's big damage, but not enough to finish him off. Right, listen, Ryuji. You've. Don't. Please. You've shown me up here in front of my friends. Oh, okay. You hit at least, but. Go for the body. Ryuji, you're going to die, mate. Oh, dear God. Okay, Natalie. You sh show Ryuji how it's done. There you go. See? Natalie knows the score. Ryuji's... Uh, I'm going to demote Ryuji. Natalie's my favourite now. Raptor! Oh, wonderful work, Keith. Who? Uh, uh, okay, JJ. I'm just wondering who else. I need to uh, control that. So enemy phase is... Wait, Commander? Wait, what? I don't understand. I'm getting very confused between... Uh, who is who at the moment? <laughs> right, listen. Ryuji, you're going to die if you don't hit this. Thank God for that, Ryuji. Oh, oh, oh good. Oh, I thought Ryuji explained for that. That's what I expect from him now. 
Okay, I can attack this commander. I thought the commander was on my side for some reason. Ah, oh, pissed all over him, but he blocked it. Okay, listen, use item. Repair yourself, buddy. There you go. Okay, Natalie, how are you doing? Is it worth repairing any of Natalie? Yeah, let's repair Natalie's legs. Unable to repair? Can you not repair things when they're at zero? I guess that's good to know. And look look at Natalie's um, movement range now. is really reduced. Should hopefully... No, can't do a long-range attack now either. Damn it. I can get in there with... Your boy and attack the commander with the raptor. Mm. Okay, well, Keith has proven himself pretty good so far. How about you, JJ? Are you going to be attack fr attack from a diagonal? Is not. It's the enemy phase now. What do I want to do? Guard, maybe? Let's guard Keith. Keith seems pretty valuable. Is this one actually going to move? No, he's just going to stand and watch. Okay, fine. All right, Royd. Oh, no, okay. All right, Royd. Let's attack this commander with the Piz. He's guarding again. Oh, I did no damage. He's, he's playing by my playbook. Repair S. So I can't repair his legs then, right? No, unable to repair. His left arm's repaired, but it's going to take ages for Ryuji to get anywhere now. I think we're going to have to very slowly get Natalie round to flank this commander. Good, good. Oh, Keith took a bit of damage there. Right, I definitely can't attack with JJ from that angle. So again, I'm going to have to move JJ round as well. Because I don't think I can move JJ to this spot. No, I can move through people, but I can't move them onto the same area. Which kind of makes sense, I guess. Enemy phase. What's he going to do? He's the raptor again. Oh, that does loads of damage. That commander must be breaking it now. Player phase. And... For you two. One, one hop at a time. Poor little Ryuji. Oh, I can't move Natalie to where I need because I've moved Royd there. Whoopsie. Can I move JJ? There we go. Can't attack with JJ. What if I... Can I move... No, can't attack in a straight line through Keith. But Keith can attack. And Keith's going to use his Raptor again because it does the... Whoa, he blocked it. Keith, no. The enemy phase. Just go in there, Keith. Be aggressive. That's it, Keith. Chipping him away. Who is that dude up the top? Mysterious, mysterious dude up the top. All right, JJ. It's your time to shine, buddy. Use your Ziga. <laughs> Some people just choke at the last moment. Fingers crossed I can... Oh, I can't attack from there. Damn it. You go slowly but surely. Maybe you'll get there sometime.
My, pen, my positioning is really um, reducing my ability to attack aggressively. Oh, that command of blocked. Keith is going to end up screwed if he's not careful. We're still going to play aggressive with Keith, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, why? Wait. Okay, that's the bit I don't understand. Why is he firing at the missiler? Is he... Is the missiler on... I presume the missile is an enemy. Maybe... The commander of the missiler is... Maybe that grenade thing is a boost for this dude up here. And that's what's confusing me. I'm not sure. Did I tell you at the start of this Let's Play that I'm a noob and I've never really played one of these games before? Because I am. As you might guess by now. Okay, let's go up here. With Roy. Now, I've got to be able to attack someone. We're going to attack the missile. Let's go for it with the siege. Oh, ho, ho, wonderful damage. If, oh, you try to punch me. Come on, Ryuji. <laughs> Such a sad act. Okay, Keith. Listen, buddy. Don't miss, and you've got this. Yes! UCS office is down. Well, what? How? The OCU was never that good. See, what I'm getting confused here with is all the, um, the abbreviations. UCS, OCU. I mean, there's basically the same letters there, almost. Just swap an S and a U out and jumble them up a bit. But, look. Screwed them up. And 32 experience points. And as an item salvaged. Wonderful. Well, we've still got to finish off this final missile who has an attack but I'm gonna attack first and destroy it yas roid your beast leveled up see that's how leveling up should work you should level up for actually hitting your enemies and not for missing them <coughs> Ryuji boom the area is clear of hostiles. Captain, let me formally introduce you to Keith Carabell and Jonas Jeriask... J J Hold on. Jeriaska. I positioned myself weirdly for this Let's Play. When I looked at graphics for the... the I thought I'd avoided the stats, but never mind. Uh, there are two more members of the Canyon Crows. Just make sure you never stand behind me and we'll get along fine, Captain. Uh, stand in front of a dude with a gun. Captain! The Colonel has asked us to report to the military wall in New Milgan. The facilities there will also let us repair and resupply. Mission complete. Well, 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 well. Look at all those kills. What a successful first front mission, first mission. That worked. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed my first time playing Front Mission First Remake. Uh, and to celebrate my successful mission, I'm going to head to the Barzilla to get smashed. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I uh, I really like that. A little bit of a turn-based RPG mech-filled strategy game with backstabbing, romance twists, and all kinds of stuff going on. And mech arena battles what more could you want so uh yeah if you uh if you're interested in checking this out it's out today on the nintendo switch and i believe there is also going to be a, a remake of front mission 2 coming out in the future which has never been released anywhere in the west not even on the ds so keep an eye out for that if you uh, like these kind of games do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this look at front mission first remake and thank you once again to Forever Entertainment for sponsoring this video. You're amazing. Um, and so is everyone who's watched. Thanks, for, thanks, thanks everyone. I'm so happy that I, I did well uh, and that I survived and nobody under my command died. Uh, shots for everyone. Jaegers, 
Yeah, who wants a Jaeger bomb? Yay! Good bomb. Nice. 